All right, hey guys. So, I know it's been a long time. Um, I'm going to introduce you to a new animal that I've had for a little while now that you guys haven't met. I'll give you a couple updates and let you know what I've been doing. Um, all right, so first off, the new animal. Now, I got this animal. He was this big when I got him, about the size of a half dollar. This is Super Chonk. He is an African bullfrog. He lives currently in a 20 long, divided, there's his land section where he burrows sometimes. He spends most of his time in the water. The water is kind of dirty. I'm actually doing a water change today. It's also not permanent. Down in my basement, I have a 40 gallon breeder all things go well, I should be setting it up this weekend. Same kind of setup. He is going to be getting a lot more space, a lot more water. He likes to spend a lot of time in his water. He also likes to spend a lot of time on that rock back there under his heat lamp when he cooks his meals. Yesterday, he, or not yesterday, the day before yesterday, he ate an adult mouse, frozen, frozen thawed mouse. Um... So, uh, he's gotten big enough to handle that. He knocks down, like, 15 adult dubias in a, in a, a sitting, stuff like that. So I'm going to be setting him up in a march, much larger tank. Probably the same spot, though. He likes this spot. He, he chills in this, you know, this area of the house. Um, and I'm going to be hooking up a canister filter to it. Because this little rock filter waterfall deal is kind of cool, but it is not filtering the water for the amount of poop he leaves in it. Because he's a beast. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys Mini Chonk. He's a different species. Uh, he's a uh, South American horned frog or whatever those are. He does not have as fancy a setup. The potatoes are in there for his crickets. Because he doesn't do anything. I put crickets in there, he eats. Um, I tried, so, I tried taking Mini Chonk out to feed him, and he freaks out. Super Chonk, I take out of his cage. I put him in a six-quart tub full of roaches, and he goes to town. Alright, so, that's the new animal. Don't mind me, I'm uh, watching videos on YouTube. Alright. So, um, what's been going on with me? Not a whole hell of a lot, honestly. Um, my ex-wife moved out, uh, this weekend, this Saturday, it'll be two months ago. So I've been just adapting to living alone. Um, I had a shutdown from work. I've been, you know, cleaning out the house, trying to get rid of stuff I don't need, stuff I don't want. Um, I downsized my animals a little bit. I got rid of a couple of my snakes, so... And I did have one death, which was completely random. So I currently only have my pair of albino conda hog noses, my blood red corn snake... And my Anery Tessera Het Blood Red Corn Snake. Um, that's all I've got for snakes for right now. That's what I'm going to keep it at for right now. I'm still trying to get back on my feet after the divorce. Um, you know, I'm trying to catch some bills up. I'm trying to pay off some stuff. I eventually want to, you know, get more animals. I want to get new things. I want, I've got a lot I want to do. I don't want to do it in this house. Um, you know, I'm still in the house that my ex and I lived in f together for eight years. I don't plan on being here forever. I'm supposed to be buying a house for my brother once he buys a new house. The whole situation of what's going on in the world today with the, um, sickness that's going around. I'm not trying to get, like, flagged by YouTube, so I'm not going to use certain words. But with what's going on, he's having a hard time finding a new house. But once he does, I'm buying the house from him. 
Like, I'm going to be paying him directly and until I pay him X amount, and then I'll own the house. It's a much nicer house. It will be my house. I can... I'll have the animal room that I want. I'll be able to get the animals I want to get. That being said, the channel is essentially on hold for a little while. I mean, I'll try to do some videos. Like, I'll throw up some feeding videos of Super Chonk. It's not that exciting. I don't feed anything to him live other than roaches because I don't want to. You know, it's, it's messed up to try to feed him a live mouse. Stuff like that. He'll eat frozen just fine. Um, I do want to mix it up, though, and try feeding him, like, fish and stuff like that. I haven't fed him any fish. I've given him mice, I've given him roaches, I've given him night crawlers. Um, I still have my acepods, I still have my spiders, as you can see. There's, uh, Clugsy and a bunch of my other spiders up here. So, and my poor spider behind my extra monitor. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what's going on. I am still alive. Um, I did try to breed my hog noses this year. I really think my male is just broken. He either doesn't know how to breed or he's infertile. Because he's three years old and he's not given me anything for two seasons. So, I might try to pick up another albino condom male in the future and try. I know it's not the female. She gave me eggs. She gave me babies. The male is just, he, I have not seen him lock up. He was with two different females, and he did not lock. So I think he just it might be a pet. That being said, I like him, so I'm going to keep him as a pet. But I might have to pick up another breeder at some point. Might not be right away, though. It all depends on funds and, um, you know, stuff like that. So I've got other things to take care of before I go breeding more animals you know that's more mouths to feed that's yeah um so that's pretty much it um i've pretty much just been you know not to sound too sappy or cliche but on a journey to find out myself after a 11 year relationship ended you know four years of that married and ended kind of messily uh, i'm not going to get into details on that either but I mean, the, the divorce itself was easy. You know, it was not expensive. It, we don't have any kids, stuff like that. The relationship itself got kind of messy. So, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll be around. You know, you guys can find me on my Facebook page, although I haven't been on that that much either. You know, when I'm not doing much with reptiles, then I'm not in that world as much as when I am doing stuff with reptiles. You know, I've been doing other things. Like, I got into uh, taking my hammock out occasionally. That was fun. I took my hammock out with my best friend, and uh, we, you know, I'd never used it before. It was just in my backpack. And uh, for, you know, possible future camping. But I took it out. It was comfy. It was fun. So I've been doing that. Um, I've been playing some games. I've been playing D&D &D with my friends pretty much every weekend. I've been fishing a lot with my mom which is nice so yeah I'm just uh, just surviving <laughs> you know and it's like it's also kind of tough when it's like alright you're newly single you've been single now for almost a year it'll be a year at the end of July you know maybe it's time to start dating oh wait you can't go out and meet people because there's you know stuff going around not that I'm quite ready to meet somebody new, but it's still kind of tough to go out and try to make new friends or meet new people when you're not supposed to be going out and meeting new people. So, uh, yeah. I'm existing in a state of limbo at the moment, and uh, I'm just going to use that to do what I can. So that's what's going on. I'll talk to you guys later. Any questions, just leave them in the comments. Let me know if you'd like to see something. I'll do what I can. I haven't had a lot of energy to put into it, so I'll talk to y'all later.